In today's video, we're using a napkin and we're making items for our challenge journal for the November Favorite Things Junk Journal Challenge. I'm making pages and then adding embellishments and I love how they turn out. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the Messy Desk. Today we're going to work with a napkin. So you are to use a napkin and use it, use the whole napkin in a variety of places in your journal. I'm going to use a piece of copy paper because I'm getting down to where that's about all I have left. <laughs> and I have this vintage napkin. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put it down on here. But first I need to go ahead and take the ply off. So I hope you don't mind we just jump right in and start working on this. Um, I have so much going on today. I am so excited on the DIY channel. I am, my video is part of the Heidi Sambel um, DIY challenge for Christmas. The Christmas DIY challenge. So that is... Uh, going up today at 11 o'clock. I am so excited, so excited. And um, so I, I actually made items for the garage. And I did a Santa's workshop sign. And I used items that you'd find in the, the garage to make a Santa wreath well, it was started out as a wreath. It ended up something else. And a garland. And some nutcrackers. And it turned out really, really fun. And I hope you'll check it out. Um, that's the Dear Julie Julie DIY channel. And I will put the link in the description box below. As well as you will find the link and the playlist um, on... This scrap all about it with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group page. Okay, so I've I'm using the um, glue stick to put this down, and hopefully, oh, holy moly! Oh my gosh! But look at that. Oh, I like that. You know, sometimes you get a good imprint. <laughs> that really looks vintage. When you are talking and you don't pay attention to the fact that there's two ply. <laughs> so it was a three ply napkin. Okay, so I can just come back in and. Oh, darn. I'm not worried about the wrinkles, but I really didn't want to, to mess up that. Okay, so. Okay, so I'll have this that I can use also. That's extra. Okay, you do not have to use your plies as part of your um, your challenge, but you can. Okay, and in my case, I'm actually going to come back to that later. So we noticed that we need to put down, I'm going to put down a little bit of the napkin and then put down more because um, it dried too fast. Okay, so there's that. We'll go ahead, let's start with the side with the heart. And there we go. Pull it straight. Put it down. Oh, I love the way a napkin feels <laughs> when it's been put on paper. It just feels amazing. I, it's like, I don't know. It's, so I like it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. That's how that ended up here, right? Okay. Okay, so your, your napkin is um, one of your items since it's one of my favorite things, you get to add the napkin to your 
it does it's not doesn't have to be part of your 15 to make this element in the challenge so this is part of the November favorite things junk journal challenge here on the dear Julie Julie YouTube and to participate you do have to be um, in the the Facebook group and I will put the details video in the description box down below and that's where you find the find out the information about the challenge and then how you get to the challenge group because it's a special group and I haven't told you in a while but um, when you participate in one of the challenges you also um, get invited you get as for finishing you get a digital that is available to you in the what we call the VIP the virtual internet party and then there actually is a virtual internet party it's a two-hour party where we play with that digital kit that I gave you as um, your gift for finishing and our party for those that finish their October journals is on Wednesday November 18th so I know several of you are getting really excited about that and those of you that finished your are not finished um, yeah that finished your journal and you used a Dear Julie Julie digital kit in your journal um, and you posted it correct you know you posted it in the group and you posted it on your social media and all that that um, you get lit into the group early okay so and at least part of the digital kit will be there when the early when the early birds get to go in okay so here is my napkin and you just have to use your napkin in the journal some way somehow and so one of the things um, you know this one would make a great envelope so you know with this could be your flap um, but I'm not going to do that with this one um, but it would make a great one because it is a square um, I am thinking the you know I, I need to finish I need to finish putting this journal together and it kind of needs more pages so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna cut this strip off now I will use that somewhere in the journal okay I have to use this strip somewhere in the journal because that is part of my napkin um, okay this is still wet so I'm not gonna put it on the cutter because we did that before and um, it didn't work <laughs> okay so here's another strip I mean I can use those on the Franken page even okay. now these little tiny pieces I, I'm, I'm going to say you don't have to use those because, you know, that's just. Okay, so um, let's see. Well, I mean, really, really simple would be to um, yeah, look at it's just just a little bit well it's actually probably the right size um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this very very simple and these are going to be pages in my journal okay because I, I need a couple of pages that are not super bulky and then um, I need to add three items I love the way these feel. Love the way they feel. Okay. Now while they're drying, you want to.
probably still give it a little So that gives us two, I think those are nice looking, those are going to make nice looking pages. Okay. And then I'm going to want to decorate them a little bit, but I'm thinking like, I mean, this will look really nice with like a photograph on it. Um, so maybe just some of our, ooh. I, I'm, I'm have, I have an idea. I'm thinking this might be kind of pretty with the doily coming down. So we'll want our book. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll decorate both sides. That's a lot of glue left on there. Okay, so it will come down on this side. I like that that look, and I like that this white page here will have something on it now. Okay, so there's one item, and I think it might be kind of fun to put like a little tab up here we haven't done that in a while so just using your washi you can make a little tab and put it back to back so washi to washi okay back to back washi to washi i like that Oh, it's a wrinkle. <laughs> okay, and then you know, we I love this. We have the little poinsettia scarf here. One of my favorite things that I that I have. I'm so glad I was able to use that in the the digital kit. So this is I'm using the Santa and Mrs. Claus digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And say hello to Midnight. Hi Midnight. I'm so glad you joined us today. If this is your first premiere video here, dear Julie Julie, just know that we do use the live chat. So you can go ahead, hit that live chat button right down there and come on over and join us. We do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. And it's a way for us to keep in touch while we get to be hopefully inspired, get ideas, and at the same time, you can ask questions. So come on over, join the chat. If, the, if you're here after, make sure that you comment on this video because I am sprinkling throughout the month um, gifts <laughs> of my favorite things to those that watch. And but so that I know you need to comment and um, all of that. So make sure that you're commenting here on YouTube in the scrap all about it. If you're in the challenge group, if you're on Instagram, um, tag dear Julie, Julie with your, uh, comments and questions. Okay. So we also have our scrap all about it with dear Julie, Julie, Facebook group, and you will find a free digital in the file section there that you are welcome to use in your journals. I made that especially for all of us that are home, safer at home, and it was made to share with all of you. So do check that out. And with that, we'll get back to our program. And 
this is part of one of the ephemera pages and I'm just going to put it in here kind of at an angle. There's still plenty of room to put a little picture and then I could write here if I wanted to. But there's three items on our page. And for this one, I think that that looks great all by itself. And I'm thinking that it might be kind of fun to add Santa and Mrs. Claus. Okay, so um, this is uh, one of the stack of stickers. And I'm going to put this on the edge so that that just kind of sticks out the edge there. I like that. And okay, so that counts as one item on that page or on this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this will help hold this down just in case I, I don't I'm not really concerned okay it looks like it's just a little bit too big okay so there's that makes two items Oh, and remember, wherever there was a um, poinsettia, we can add the bling because I am putting bling on them now because we did make that part of my 15. Okay, so we'll do that. And just looking around to see... what we might have. I like this. Okay, so we can go ahead and add a pocket here. That'll um, finish that up. That'll give me three, three things on this one. So any element that you make, you have to add your three items to it. Okay, so if you turn your napkin into tags, they each have to have the three items. If you make one envelope, it needs to have the, your three embellishment items on it. I hope I'm in frame because I forgot I'm filming with the iPad. I'm sorry if it's going to be bad. If okay, okay. So there's the little pocket, and that makes three three items. I'm going to go ahead and add these sweet little kids going around the Christmas tree right down here. I think that's going to be really cute. Okay, and then let's see if we have, oh, we have a piece of the packaging left. Okay, just so we have something that goes in that pocket. Okay. 
I can come back and decorate that later if it really actually needs something. But there you go. That got its at least three items on that one. There's that one. Okay, and that's the best part of the napkin. But I don't think it really needs anything except maybe... How could I almost forget? I was going to use the Christmas tree napkin, but I was like, I've already used that in Christmas videos. So I love using napkins um, in my journals. I especially like putting them on like music paper and th and book pages and things like that um, the it just gives you um, more versatility because you can make a regular page out of it like we did here by just adding it to a paper you can um, rip it into pieces so if you know if you have more than one you might go ahead and rip around the heart and put it on something and we'll go ahead and glitter this up too. So this is the number 544 um, fingernail polish from Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And I love this stuff. Just make sure that you're well ventilated whenever you use fingernail polish. Okay, so there we've added it to both of those. And then I have these strips, and they are going to go probably part of my Franken page or as a ruffle on something. So I'm going to count those as done because if I was doing this normal and wasn't doing, you know, the videos uh, by category. Um, I would just go ahead and, you know, I'd have that over for the Franken page and then I'd put it in the Franken page. So, okay. So there we took our napkin. So there's our napkin. And we turned it into two really cute pages for our junk journal. And remember, my junk journal is out of that cover from the box. I think this will be really, really fun. And even if these edges stick out a little further, they have the, the red. Um, and I think that's going to be really pretty. So which one's your favorite? And are you enjoying this? Are you, um, are you participating in the challenge? We'd love to know. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to watch my DIY video if you get a chance. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.